Making sure expert witnesses are qualified to take the stand in Travis County, the 2021 Year in Review released by the District Attorney's Office this morning offers a solution, and it's one of the measures listed in the report we haven't already reported. So we sent KXAN's Brianna Hollis to find out more. I've been dreaming how it will feel to touch my kids. This is Rosa Jimenez. A jury found her guilty of murder in 2003 for choking a little boy she babysat. He choked on a wad of paper towels, and the expert witness in the case said he could only have done so if someone forced them down his throat. A judge released Jimenez on bond in January 2021 after three of the nation's leading pediatric airway specialists disagreed. Obviously, the case of Rosa Jimenez is top of mind. DA Jose Garza implemented the expert witness panel mid-2021 to avoid more convictions based on questionable science. Far too many people have been incarcerated on the basis of faulty expert testimony. Senior attorneys within Garza's office make up the panel. None were available to speak Monday, but we did get insight from someone with experience testifying as an expert witness throughout Texas. Wouldn't want someone to be testifying about how things were done 20 years ago when the technology, the laws, the policy and the procedures may be very different today. And it's my job to come in and assess the facts, give my opinion, but then make that opinion relatable to the case. Garza says his attorneys are qualified to evaluate such witnesses because of their combined experience trying cases in different fields. For too long here in Travis County, um, we have relied on uh, so-called expert testimony that has not always been trustworthy. In Austin, Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. The 2021 review from the DA's office also mentions promises to prioritize victims, prevent future acts of gun violence, and address the root causes of crime.